East region is one of the four main regions in the March Madness NCAA Tournament. The top seed in the East and the overall number one seed for this year's tournament is the defending champion Villanova Wildcats, who finished the season 31-3. The other top three seeds in this region are the Duke Blue Devils, who went 27-8, the Baylor Bears, who finished 25-7, and, and the Florida Gators, who went 24-8. Other 2017 East Region seeds also include Virginia, SMU, South Carolina, Wisconsin, Virginia Tech, Marquette, the winner of the Providence vs. USC game in one of the first four playing games, NC Wilmington, East Tennessee State, New Mexico State, Troy, and the winner of the Mount St. Mary's vs. New Orleans game, which is also one of the first four playing games. The East should be all about Villanova and Duke as they are the top two seeds and overall the region could be the weakest of the four in the 2017 NCAA Tournament. The Wildcats are the defending national champs and they have the talent to repeat. Villanova has a star player in Josh Hart, a veteran team, and they are very well coached. Many people like the Duke Blue Devils to win the East and some thought Duke should have been a top seed in another region. The Duke Blue Devils are surging at the right time and they have some talented players, including Luke Kennard and Grayson Allen, and they are coached by Mike Krasuski, so there is a lot to like. This is one region where the dark horses and long shots really don't look that good because they would have to get past Villanova or Duke. It is hard to see a team like Baylor, Florida, or Virginia beating one of the top two. The team that is at least worth a look is SMU. They have the talent to give Villanova or Duke some trouble. They have Semi Ojalehi, who is a former Duke player, and the Mustangs can score. Another team that might have a chance would be Wisconsin, as they have Ethan Happ and Nigel Hayes. But their problem is they would have to beat Villanova in the second round. And don't sleep on South Carolina either, as they will be playing in Greenville, so they should have a good edge in crowd support.